So, let me flip this around here. I don't know if you can see, you can see us. We'll put some more light on the subject here. Good morning. <laughs> it is 6.09 in the morning and Emma and I are going to head out through some friends of ours that we've come to know very well recently with Honey Tree Farm. They spoke with the Rhodes family, just a Rhodes show, and um, asked if Emma could be a part of their day of processing. Well, Emma can't drive, so <laughs> Emma's got to rely on a mom or a daddy to take her. <laughs> so I've opted to take her over there, and we're going to spend the morning, I guess, up until whenever they need us to, and we're going to be helping to process their chickens today. So pretty exciting stuff. Ben and Emma had a really good time last time um, when they went to their house to help with the garden prep. So any thoughts, Emma? Are you excited? I'm, I'm excited. excited. Of course I am. So right now we are bringing our knife sets. Um, don't know if we'll need them, but I think it's always good to be prepared and bring your own knives. So I'm gonna have her sharpen those and um, make sure you're wiping them down. After yeah, you I sharpen them. Okay, so she's doing a good job. Um, but she's getting ready and um, sharpening the knives. And it's super dark out right now, so if the lighting is bad, I apologize, but we can't do nothing about it. So we have about an hour and 40 minute drive. I gotta stop and get some um, DEF fluid for my truck. Um, because I'm almost on E and I gotta get gas. So we are gonna get on the road and we'll let you see some of the pretty foliage on the way there. So foliage. Foliage. <laughs> foliage. <laughs> All right, y'all. and run with it too but it was very nice we got to um, just spend a leisurely day basically I felt bad because at one point I had to step away and help Emma she cut her finger pretty badly 
um, while she was in doing the killing part with the chickens. We had to go doctor that up indoors, so we kind of got pulled away and started talking with Rebecca for a while, so we kind of skipped out on the last little bit of um, the processing, but we did get to have a wonderful lunch, and we had to help with the the bagging and the, the, sh the shrink wrapping process at the end and weighing and just really nice time. So I'm grateful that we had this opportunity to go. It was, it was really an enjoyable day. So thank you, Rebecca and Justin for giving of yourselves and your time and allowing us to come and hang out and be part of the crew today. It was, it was good. So we are headed back home now. Now that it's a little more daylight, I'll see if I can capture some pretty fall. I want to call it foliage instead of foliage. <laughs> foliage. Fall foliage. <laughs> I gotta go pick up my son here. He's been helping out. He had a day off of school today, so he was helping out over at Honey Tree Farm today. So at Emma's place. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna go today. pick him up here in just a bit and um, head back home. So we'll catch you guys in a bit. It really is prettier than it was last week. Yeah. Last week it was. Um, oh, sorry. I cut your face in there. <laughs> <laughs> last week it was kind of dull. The, there were more dead trees than there were. Up, I like to call it <laughs> um, and picked up some non-gmo um, like maybe outdated by one day veggies and fruits and we're gonna head home we've not gotten home yet so I got a call from my husband he said hey you know this place we like to get our food at they said they have some scraps ready for us or some outdated veggies for us so that's where we stopped right now and now we are headed home and we'll go feed these to our chickens. We'll get the nighttime chores done. And we're gonna shower, eat some dinner, and we're gonna call it a day. It's been a long, long day. Cause it's about an hour and 40 minutes to get to where Justin and Rebecca live. And so that's just one way. So, um, but it's a very beautiful drive, so not too bad. And Miss Emma over here has been trying to nap on me. She's got sun in her face. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to nap on me. I wouldn't let her. <laughs> I kept asking her questions. <laughs> so I was like, leave me alone, woman. No, she doesn't talk to me like that by any means. <laughs> I'm going to bring this around back and then come back. Maybe. Okay. All right, y'all. So we made it home safely. And I've got three bags of veggies here that we're going to go take out to the chickens. It looks like there's... I don't know, potatoes, strawberries, um, lots of greens. It looks like maybe some Swiss chard, um, probably some kale. Lots of good stuff because we know it's non-GMO and oftentimes organic. Um, so I'll take the heaviest bag so my daughter doesn't have to work with that. And um, we're going to go feed the chickies. Our chickens love this stuff. They tear it up. I already hear Lucy Goosey. Lucy, I'm home. And I have goodies. Look at all those girls. They're all lined up waiting. A little bit of a snacky snack for you guys. Like someone left a jar of diatomaceous earth out here and left on the ground. These guys know what's up. We're gonna do this one hand. 
You got it okay, baby? You didn't have to grab both of them. You didn't have to grab both of them. Look at all this. Some of this stuff looks so good that like you could really eat it. it smells good. Excuse me, mama. Here you go, baby. Right, Emma? Oftentimes these veggies and fruits still look super good, like you could eat it. Now, I don't know what they think about mushrooms, but we'll find out. And some mushrooms, guys. Emma! <laughs> Careful. Yeah, I know. I, I was trying. That's why I go through it slowly. Because some of this stuff is still um, tagged and bagged, and we don't want that. We don't want to give them that kind of stuff. They're going to love these strawberries. I try and stomp on the potatoes sometimes to open them up for them. Like, that looks like a perfectly good potato that we could bake. <laughs> I don't know if they like the mushrooms. Hey, Lou. Oh, I'm sorry, Doug. Hey, guys. Here. Go for it. I'll give some to you guys, too. Hey, buddy. Hey, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> they love strawberries. Well, of course, it's red. And red is an attractant for chickens. They love that. It smells like this. It will this. attract the bee. Look, you see that one? You took a big mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are and they love this stuff, it. Huh? They love it when we hold the veggies for them because they can't tear it apart with just their beaks. Yeah. So when we hold the veggies for them, they have something to hold it for them. Like, I could cook this up. Yeah. You guys, I could cook this up in a meal. This still looks good. <laughs> but that's all right. Our girls deserve it. Oh, she's tagged twice. Who tagged her twice? I don't know. Get those bands off you, baby. That smells like turmeric. It is turmeric. Mm, smells good. Hi, hey, baby. Satisfying sound. See, like this one's got a tag on it still. Ready? This is organic. Are you gonna go? I'm gonna try. I don't think I will. I don't think you weigh it up. Gork. <laughs> Pound it open. Oh, you did it, baby. Good job. All right. Hey, babies. What kind of squash is that? She says, comment in the section below if you know what kind of squash that is. We have no idea. <laughs> it's kind of squashed now. Kabocha <laughs> squash. Gourd something. You see. A bounty of food. 
guys are making me want to go inside and make some stir fry. Loads of veggies and goodies. They are loving this. Especially the strawberries. And we have two chickens in our backyard that we've been watching a little more closely. I think that they were kind of getting bullied and pushed out of the way and not getting as much food because they were acting like they didn't feel well. But now they're very bright-eyed, they're active. So I'm gonna give them a few pieces here. Hey guys, it's okay. Look at you wag your tail. All right, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. Dinner's on us tonight. <laughs> so, um, we'll have to go out and gather eggs. I don't know that they got done earlier today, so we'll go and check on that here in just a moment. But I gotta get my stuff loaded up inside, so. All right, girls. I will do the duties of going and getting the eggs. I don't know why there is a... Uh-uh-uh. Do you realize that the persimmon is over here on the ground? Yeah. Okay. Hey, baby. Are you excited to see me? Daddy, Are you excited to see me? All right. Let's see what kind of eggs we got today. Let's kick this out of the way. We get a buildup of um, shavings right down here in the doorway, so it makes it hard to close. So that's just my habit. I always kick it in every time I come in. It's kind of dark in here. We got lots of eggs here, so we'll get these gathered up, take these inside, box them up. I gotta check the floor, because sometimes they like to nest down on the floor and eggs will get buried back inside there. So we gotta dig through the shavings on the floor. But we do that every day, so we try very carefully not to miss any eggs in there. 14, 16, I don't think I'm missing any. I'm checking, I'm looking. Oh, there's one, 21. Yeah, there's one. Nice warm one. Oh, there's another one. 26 in a duck egg. Wow, this is a dirty job. Let me just tell you that much. Dirty job. I have like a thousand in one little bush. <laughs> oh, your hair looks pretty. Oh yeah, I did that really it? quick. <laughs> I was like, come on, just roll it. Here, can I spin this? Yeah. yeah I got 26 in a duck egg. Did you get some earlier today? No? Wow. Girls, calm down. That's good. What's about making a dog? That's what. Oh, it's These what girls are going, are going crazy. <laughs> it looks like, no, it's just mud. You go taste it. That's just mud. Feels good. Scratch my back on the grass. All right, so I don't know if we've shown you guys the um, growth of the winter rye that we put down, but this, this exploded within that first week after we planted it, after we threw the seed down. And as you can see, Emma's standing out there in it, and it looks like it's about, like mid-calf. Is it up to your middle calf, baby? Yeah, about. Yeah, so it's, it's done a really good job so far. We have a little bit of a sparse area way out there at the corner. I don't know if we just didn't get enough seeds out there, if it's just not fertile enough to really grow much, but. You can tell where it's really thick over in here, that, that area is where the chickens used to hang out a lot. So, good stuff. Good stuff. No, you will leave those chickens alone. All right, so I gotta turn the knob, right? Here. Turn the knob and then turn the thing on to on, right? Turn it. Yeah. And then you turn it to on. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and Emma today. I know it was the majority of our recording today was just the two of us, but we had the main excitement of the day going on, so we decided to bring you guys along. So we just want to thank you again for sticking with us and being a part of our journey, and hope that you guys come back and see us again. 
See you later.